a look at the draw and how we got here. So the one seed against the three seed, number one ranked player in the world on the women's side, over 100 titles under her belt already at the age of 17. 18 months ago at the age of 15, she was named to the Forbes 30 under 30. Uh, yeah, she's uh, you know she's a great Jesus, representative uh, of our sport, a young lady that is well beyond her years, and we're about to get a great match underway here. And by the way, she has never, in spite of all her success in pickleball, she's never won a gold medal at this tournament, and that's a little bit deceptive because she hasn't played here a bunch as a pro. But she has a chance to win two here tonight, although the side out will give the serve over to Fudge and Diescu. Great patience by both sides here. And the speed up for profit by Diescu. Yeah, it's an excellent ball there from Diescu going cross body on JW Johnson. He steps to the middle looking for that forehand. But Diescu hits him in the left shoulder. And that's going to be the key to this matchup for. Waters and Johnson is keeping Diescu honest. We saw Anna Lee go behind Diescu twice there. Diescu is looking to get in the middle of the court, but if they can isolate him and keep him on his side. Nice speed up there by JW and he is able to hold the balance without going into the kitchen. For those of you who just happen to be channel surfing and finding this, uh, we said this yesterday, but uh, some people may still be living under a rock and not know all that much about pickleball. It is best two out of three. Game two, 11, got a win by two and only the serving team can score a point. And a point right there, as that is just wide. Excuse me, they did catch the line. No, so it actually it actually just landed in. Originally, Fudge called it out, but Whoa. overturned her call. Point. Make it 2-1 in favor of Waters and Johnson. I think it's important, Chad, that Deescu stay patient in this game because the more patient and really playing at a slower pace, I think, plays to Deescu and Fudge advantage. Fudge, nice job getting that off the net. Great defense. Oh, big angle there to finish it by Johnson. But we see Fudge and Diescu's prowess in defense on display right there. These points are not going to be short, that's for sure. And, and to your, your statement there, Melissa, if you ask Diescu, he wants to play long points. He wants to move that ball around because he knows that he can outlast anybody with the consistency. We saw that earlier today. He kind of waited one out, I don't know how many times across the net, and finally ended up with an ATP opportunity. Oh, that's a nice ball there from Annalie Waters. Just slides that down behind the backhand of Diescu. Four, one, two. Annalie just interjects herself into things. And that two-handed backhand is so deadly. Time out receivers. Five, one, two, one minute. Pickleball Channel is proud to bring you all the action from Naples, Florida of the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. More great content is on the way. Matches, tips, instruction, inspiring stories, and more. 
So remember to subscribe, like, and follow on all your favorite social media platforms and at pickleballchannel.com. Beautiful look at the paradise coast of Naples, Marco Island, and the Everglades. Such a great location to have the mid to U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. It has been held here since 2016. They did lose 2020 to COVID, as did so many other sports lose events. But in nine years, this is the eighth running of this tournament. And out of the timeout, the train just keeps on rolling for Waters and Johnson. Yeah, Daescu trying to get Big Day to reach in and take that ball out of the air and put some pressure, but he started to die before it got to him. Oh, that oh, ball lands in, yes, too. Yes, it does. And that's the strength of J.W. Johnson right there. The backhand flick is his signature shot. We'll see this one right Seven, one, inside two. the line. Seven, one, two. He's just so strong with the forearm and wrist. Drops that paddle head underneath. Now we see another one. It's He's literally full extension and then powers just quick flick. Yeah, and, and since earlier this afternoon, the winds also seem to die down here. Not oh. seeing, well, and as I say that, it picks up. Well, at least on championship <laughs> court, though. I don't think it's definitely still going outside. Oh, off side the net. Out. And that will get a much needed side out for Fudge and Diescu. Eight Why points on 10 serves for Waters and Johnson, that service opportunity. Oh, did she go past the net? Oh, she was close. Yay! Nice counter there from Fudge. Now the paddle didn't go past, but I, her foot may have gone past the plane of the net. Didn't get picked up. So it must have been good. Bob Swiss Elm, one of the best referees out there. And that'll be long, so move to the second serve here, 2-8-2. Two, two. Two, two. Referees, all volunteers here at the U.S. Open. So many volunteers helped make this tournament possible. A great angle side. played there to force the side out. And we do, Dave, to your point on volunteers, have about 600 of them that support this event um, every year. Mm. Hannah Lee into the net. Well, that number is almost close to the first number of participants in the, <laughs> in the <laughs> U.S. Open. <laughs> Great point. Side out. Well, nice job by Fudge and Daescu to stop the hemorrhaging here and get the serve back. Two, eight, one. Oh, <laughs> just a yeah, misfire so. there by Andre. It was almost like his swing motion kind of got stopped midway and then caused to carry on his paddle. Yeah. I don't know if I've, I've seen that too many times. Definitely not something we typically see from Diascu. Ooh, how about that? JW jumps in and takes it. Yeah, that's a that's all with the setup from Anna Lee Waters right there. She goes heavy top spin roll on the on the forehand dink, and Fudge reaches in, tries to take it out of the air, but because that paddle face is open and the pace that was on it popped up, Johnson there to finish. The Ernie by Diescu for profit. I'm gonna say that he took two steps and a jump on this one. One, two, yeah. So he went, he traveled 13 feet and did two, two. two steps and jump. <laughs> Seven, 
Not quite Giannis Antetokounmpo, but not, not far behind. <laughs> How about this firefight? And now a reset. And right back to the firefight. Oh, perfect placement net from Diascu. He took some pace off of it after that hands battle. All four players going full swings, and we'll see Diascu just a nice short, compact swing with a little bit of roll. Two they one. JW right at the feet of Andre. And a great job by Annalie Waters sending a cross-court angle out so wide that Megan Fudge had to get out and reach for it and caused a pop-up. Oh, a little unlucky. Daesku didn't get the roll up over the net court there. We've had 10 straight serves without a point collectively here. Been sitting on 8 2 for a while. Now the Arnie. Session. Diascu is so quick to react right there. Sees the ball popping up down the line. Good body positioning, good power behind the Arnie. Another two step Arnie, Chad. <laughs> yeah, that one he didn't travel as much distance, you know. It was still impressive. JW taking everything right now. Oh, relentless attack there from JW Johnson. And it's so hard to read the paddle there as well because he's taking such a short, compact swing. In there on Fudge's ball was accentuated by the net, and so it started spinning back toward it. Tough to pick up there for Johnson. So back over to Fudge and Dyescu at 2 9. And Allie quickly moves it to the second server. Yeah, good footwork there from Waters. So quick to clear space. And right Stop. back over to Waters and Johnson, two points away from taking game one. Your hands used to be that fast, right, Melissa? Uh, they certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean used to be? <laughs> well, she's taken a little bit of time off, you know? Been running sorry. tournaments for the last 10 years have full you time. Her, have you seen her work the keyboard? Oh, say, my, oh yeah, yeah, the fingers, finger <laughs> dexterity. Hands slow down, fingers are really fast. Oh, Diascu just got a little late to that forehand. You saw right at contact, that paddle face was facing up. Takes us to game point. And there it is. Game one, 11-2. Decisive victory for Waters and Johnson. Uh, just too strong there from Johnson and Waters. Hands are so fast. The attacks from both players. It's going to be a tough one in game two for Diascu and Fudge. And we'll have game two coming your way after this timeout. I always thought running was dumb. Oh, I never wanted to run, hated running. I am not an athlete. I'm not a runner. I never thought I would run a marathon. Why are we doing this? This is hard. It's because we're saving lives. 
I was sitting in a spiritual recliner. You know, the lever on the side of that recliner, God just pulled it and ejected me out and said, hey, get to work. I need to move. water crisis is something that we think of very little because nobody here in the U.S. has to walk six miles back and forth daily to get water. Because of World Vision's work, children are free to go to school. Women are able to go to work and build up their local community. You know, I mean, I wouldn't describe myself as a super athlete. Can I go run 26 miles? I couldn't when training started, but today I can. I've had five knee surgeries. This is a total gift that God's given back to me. I need to do something with it. There are people who tell me all the time now that they are grateful that they can donate because they feel like they're running along with me. The Team World Vision family, it is a family. It doesn't matter how fast or how slow we run. These are all people who are changing the world with their feet. I'm not running for myself. I'm running for someone else's finish line. And that's what keeps me moving. Some of the numbers from that first game. I, oh, and the unforced errors there were the numbers are, are low, and that was to be expect, expected. Two very good defensive teams, but it's the outright winners there from Waters and Johnson. It just goes to show how quick their hands are, how powerful they are, and how much pressure they can put on. Yeah, certainly Fudge and Deescu were under a lot of uh, pressure and played some tremendous defense, but it just wasn't enough. Fudge and Dyescu, they did have a very brief 1-0 lead in that first game. And they will have to wait to try and take a lead after Johnson disposes of that. Oh, nice spot there from J.W. Johnson. Again, that backhand reach-in flick. Waits for it to get to the paddle. Just takes it straight down the line. Fudge right there is trying to slide to the right to clear the backhand. And Johnson just follows that movement. Goes right into the right shoulder. Now Fudge has gone back to the box on her. Did that? She's just cleaning her glasses. Yeah. Yeah, and I imagine it's, that's pretty hard to see it coming as well. You're not really sure where that flick on that backhand well, is going to go. Because he's so extended, he can take what that down the line, line, through the middle, or cross court just by hitting a different part of the ball. So it's very difficult to read with it being so short. Yeah, and Anna what? Lee is just doing a tremendous job of causing Megan Fudge to have to reach. Yeah, and it's the... The pace and the shape that are uh, or spin that are on those cross court dinks, she loads up on that right leg and can really accelerate through the ball. Diaskew interjects himself into things and it's the winner down the boulevard. Well, right there, Waters tried to change spots. She went to go left foot on Megan Fudge, but Diaskew, with, with how much reach he has, was able to cut that one off. Hmm. Annalee off that baseline with the misfire. And Fudge and Diaskew get the serve back. A little too big of a backswing there from Waters. I thought Johnson was going to step over and take that oh, forehand. Yeah. And that'll go out, so move to the second server. 
Yeah, and just watching the footwork there of Annalie Waters, she's not rushed. She's setting herself up perfectly. That allowed her to take that ball down the line there behind Diescu. A lot of the times in, in mixed doubles, we'll see the woman on the, on the right hit that ball and feel like she has to get back to middle quickly. Great job by Johnson to catch that off the net. Oh. And Annalie, the vicious backhand. That thing came off like a rocket. Just loads up on that. Short left elbow goes right level with the hip and acceleration through. And that'll move us to 3-1. Well, it's a tough call to get a ball through the middle of the court. You've got the far, how, the, the quickness of J.W. Johnson with his forehand, and then you've got the power of Annalie Waters with that two-handed backhand. We will see Annalie another match coming up after this as well. She'll play with her mother for what? women's doubles gold. And right now, enjoying a 4-1 margin and already up a game here in this mixed doubles. Annalie from Delray Beach, Florida, originally born in Clinton, North Carolina, and we'll have to wait for the next serve because Fudge and Diaskew want to use a timeout. We will take a Takea hydration break as well from Naples, Florida. I wish that summer would be how other kids have summer. More than 22 million children depend on school programs for meals. But those meals stop for up to 90 days during summer. That's almost three months kids spend worrying about when they'll eat next. Summer meal programs are a relief for families like Katrina's. Help kids and families facing hunger get through the summer. Time in. Four, one, one. Time out, we'll move it to the second server after that goes into the net. Four, one, two. Four. Nicely played there by JW, just kind of flicked it down into that back baseline. Well, and that was thanks to the previous attack down the line. Four, one, two to Megan Fudge's right shoulder. She cleared more room this time and it opened up a hole in the middle for Johnson to flick that ball through. And then the ATP, and that did not, that did not catch the line. So move that it to 6-1. Six, one. Six, one, and you said in the first game, Chad, that Andre would like some longer points. A lot of these have been short. Well, that's because Johnson and Waters are dictating the pace of play. They want a faster pace. They want to take opportunities to be able to speed a ball up because their hands are so quick. And it becomes difficult for Diascu and Fudge to, to reset that because then they're just going to speed it up again. Side out. I kind of feel like this might be the last stand here for Fudge and Dyeski if they're going to get back into this match. They got to string something together. Yeah. Better job there from Fudge. She was anticipating that attack from JW Johnson. Now Fudge and Tyeski on opposite sides. Oh, Boy. they get a little help from the net there. Move it to 3-7, three, 3-7-1. Seven. Three, seven, one. Seven, one. 
Move to 372. Yeah, and you're seeing Diascu and Fudge end up switching sides because it looks like Fudge is trying to get more aggressive, anticipating some balls across the middle. 372. And again, it is 372. Side, and side out. We'll get it back over to Waters and Johnson at 7 3, needing four points to wrap up a goal. was well done by Anna Lee. That's uh, something that uh, when you can get down right down that line, get it for some pace down the line on the opponent's backhand, oftentimes you can get a pop up and put that ball away. Make it 9 3. And you also have the same opportunity, Chad, to do down, what you do down the line, pushing down the middle on your opponent's backhand as well. And JW just showed us how to do that. And another pop-up to put another ball away. And Fudge and Dyescu are going to use their final timeout. The outcome of this one looking like it might be inevitable here in Naples. Don't leave pickleball behind when you leave the court. Pickleball Channel gives you the world of pickleball in your hands, covering the entire sport. deep into the world of pickleball and keep your game going with Pickleball Channel. Welcome back to Naples, Florida. Lee Waters watching on as her daughter Anna Lee, two points away from taking her first gold medal as a professional here at the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And Megan will put it into the net, and that takes us to championship point. 10 3 1. And there it is. JW Johnson finishes it off. And go ahead and write this one into the record books for Annalie Waters, her first ever gold and a tournament that she holds so dear to her heart. Oh, a fantastic performance there from Annalie Waters and JW Johnson. We see another backhand flick and a big forehand there from Johnson. 11-2, 11-3. We will hear from the medalists coming up after this timeout. Stay with us. Pickleball Channel is proud to bring you all the action from Naples, Florida of the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships powered by Margaritaville. More great content is on the way. Matches, tips, instruction, inspiring stories, and more. So remember to subscribe, like, and follow on all your favorite social media platforms and at pickleballchannel.com. Uh, Megan and Andre joining me here now. Uh, guys, a fantastic run through this tournament, and you run into uh, a really tough team in JW and Annalee. Yeah, definitely credit to them. They played a fantastic match. Uh, I've actually never played Annalee before, so it was fun getting the chance to, to step on court and play her. Uh, I was excited to play in the final, and uh, we fought hard all day to get there, and uh, obviously came up short in the final, but uh, had a great time. And Andre, uh, you began the day having a chance to leave here with four golds. Now you're down to maybe leaving with three and a silver. That's still not too shabby. Uh, it's not too shabby, obviously, but you want to win it all if you can. But uh, look, props to Annalie and uh, J-Dub. They played a great match here. And uh, like Megan said, you know, we, 
we got to the finals. It was a really good tournament, you know, and uh, yeah, we, we learned from this one and uh, we move on to the next one. Well, congratulations on the silver. Let's get to them in with the medals right now and we'll give Andre after uh, he gets his medal and his prize money along with Megan a chance to go get warmed up because we will see Andre in just a couple of minutes in the, well, probably more than a couple of minutes, but the nightcap and the men's as we bring in the prize money as well, part of the $150,000 purse at this year's U.S. Open. Let's hear it for your silver medalists in the mixed doubles, everybody. And we can get some photos in just a minute, guys. We're going to have you slide out and bring in our gold medalists right now. And uh, J.W. Johnson and Annalee Waters were pretty spectacular in getting here to championship court in the mixed doubles. And uh, let's bring them over here right now. And uh, Annalee, I'll start with you. Um, you're no stranger to winning. You're no stranger to triple crowns. No triple crown here this week because you didn't play singles. But this is your first U.S. Open gold as a pro. Is this one extra special? For sure. I'm a stranger to winning the U.S. Open. I've been coming here. My first tournament, I actually played 4-0 at this uh, facility. I played with my grandfather in this facility. So just a lot of memories um, coming back here. And it was super special to get to play on this championship court and come out with a dub with J-Dub. And J-Dub, uh, how fantastic is it to play with the world's number one ranked female? Yeah, super great to play with her. Uh, this, is our, this is our second time playing too, so we both got gold both times, so really fun and uh, uh, just love the venue a lot. And how cool is it for you, and, and I'll ask Annalee this uh, as well, but you know your sister's here. You get to experience this with a family member. How cool is that? Oh yeah, it's awesome, especially since we travel together all the time. It's, uh, it's an amazing experience for sure. And Annalie, I know you're going to be playing with your mom here in just a minute uh, in women's doubles, but, you know, having a chance to have this be a family affair, that's got to mean a lot. Yeah, I mean, we've never made a final here at the U.S. Open, so that's special in itself. Whether we win or lose, we're going to have a great time, and it's definitely a night I'll never forget. All right, let's get the prize medals over here. The gold medal for Annalie Waters, J.W. Johnson, well-deserved. They'll also get their prize checks. Their checker, uh, Skechers footwear, the official footwear of the Minto U.S. Open Pickleball Championships. And the championship hats will make their way over here as well. So congratulations once again. Let's hear it for our gold medalists in mixed doubles.